Hello, hello, and today I have Friends You Can Count On by Michael Lefkowitz. And rules are as follows. We have normal Sudoku rules. Can't have a repeated digit in any row, any column, or any marked 3x3 three three box. We have friend circles. So these circles, um, like I think, hold on, let me read the rule. Digits X and Y are friends if and only if they appear orthogonally adjacent to each other somewhere in the puzzle. Okay, so 2 and 7 are friends, for example. Um, additionally, every digit 1 to 9 appears in a circle or is friends with a digit that appears in a circle or both. Okay, so every digit is either in a circle or is friends with a digit in the circle. I assume it means directly. It's not like transitive friends or anything like that. Counting circles. Each digit in a circle indicates how many times that digit appears in a circle in the puzzle. Okay, so these are normal counting circles, meaning let's say there were three here, there would have to be three threes in different circles. And um, and then they're also, so every digit's either in a circle um, or it's friends directly with a digit in the circle. Okay, seems pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's, let's try it. So let's count the circles. There are four, there's nine of them. Um, and they're in five different boxes. Okay, so there's nine circles in five different boxes which means the largest digit is five, and they're gonna add up to nine, the digits in circles. So it's either two, three, four, five, four, or one, three, five. I think those are the only options, right? So if it's two digits, it has to be four, five. If there's two different digits in circles, it's four and five, because, because why? Because uh, that, I mean, Six, seven, and eight are not possible, so the only two-digit pair that still works is four and five. If it's three digits, it can't be four digits because four digits, uh, the minimum you can make is 10, so it can't be nine. If it's three digits, it's one, three, five, or two, three, four. Can't do one, two, six, because again, we can't have six in six, because there are only five boxes where circles are. Um, oh, I'm, each, I, I, don't, I don't think I understood this when I said it. Each digit in a circle indicates how many friends that digit has. Okay, so digits in here. Ah, so I think what that means is we can't have like a one in here, right? Because so if there's a, a digit in the circle tells me how many friends that, that digit has. So if there's a one in here, it only has one friend, but so it's gonna be friends with everything around it. I don't think there are any circles that can only, I mean, no, there's no, there's no place you can put a digit in the puzzle it only has one digit around it. Um, because if it's not in a corner, it's gonna have either two in the row or two in the column. That will be different. And if it's in the corner, it'll have two in the box. So there's no way one can be in here. Um, and I don't think any of the given circles can have two either, because they're not in corners. Um, like this one, oh, this one could have two. Hold on. This one could have two different friends, I think. Oh, but it has a two here. Ah. Special. That one can't have two. This one has three. This one has at least three. This one could have two, but these can't. And if there were if there were one two in a circle, I would need two. So I can't have twos in circles. Okay. So it's and I can't have ones in circles. So it's not one three five. It's not two three four. It's got to be four five. So these are four five. The one by itself has to be five. For a minute, I thought I was going to have to prove that none of them could be three, which would have been, I think, difficult. Um, but I think doable. I don't know. Um, okay, so five has five friends, four has four friends. I'm trying to think how this is gonna work with every digit has to be friends with one of these, because five and four add up to nine, and so every digit's gonna be friends with one of these, or is those. So, so four and five don't have to work. So the other digits, so one to three and six to nine, they're all friends with at least one of these, and two of them are gonna be friends with both, unless five and four are friends with each other. Um, well, let's just do some Sudoku on fives, because we have a bunch of fives. Oh, we're not gonna get it, are we? Oh no, I get a five here, and then fives here. Okay, not quite as useful as I want to have fours. Um, I get a four in one of those spots. I get a four. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get much for action. Yeah. 
Interesting, four can be anywhere in the middle box. Okay, so, so can four and, yeah, four and five can be friends with each other right here. I almost thought four and five couldn't be friends, but they could be right here. Um, how am I gonna do this? Um, ah, but these digits here, ah, these digits here are friends with both, right? So, um, so the digits here are friends with both, which means four and five are not gonna be friends with each other. So, so let me just, let me go through that in my head again, or out loud again, and make sure that's right. So every digit is either friends with five or friends with four, or is five or four, or potentially is friends with both. If four, and five has exactly five friends and four is exactly four friends because they're in friend circles. So every single digit, one to nine, like let's say the digits, let's ignore, let's ignore four and five for a second. Every single digit is gonna be friends with five or friends with four. And the number of total friends is gonna be, so the seven digits are, are for sure, those seven digits are friends with one of them once at least, with either five or four. So if you think of the other digits, so one, two, three, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, you can count like once because it's friends with one of them. And if it's friends with both of them, you get kind of an extra friend pair to get up to nine. So if five and four are not friends with each other, then we'll have two digits that are friends with both five and four to get up to nine friends for each, right? So there'll be, there'll be seven digits. Um, five of them are friends with exactly one. So that's contributing five. Two of them are friends with both, and that contributes two each. That's four more. That gets us to nine total friends for five and four combined. Whereas if five and four are friends with each other, five only has four other friends. Four only has three other friends. That's all the digits uh, that are not four and five exactly once, and that's all you could do. But here I see two digits that are not four and five that are friends with both. So I'm gonna color these purple or pink, I guess. Um, and those are the two, those are the digits that are friends with both five and four. And those are gonna be the same. I can probably label them. I probably should letter them. So let's call this A, B, A, A, B, A, oops, uh, A, I know I want this, A, B, B. So those are, those are placed. Once I figure out what the digits are, those are placed. And five and four are not friends with each other. So this is four. Uh, still doesn't really help us with this box, but that's okay. If I, uh, this is not five either. There we go, we got our fives done. And then, and then once. And then I guess I can color digits that are friends with, hmm, how's that gonna work? Like this digit is friends with five, this, so three is friends with four, um, but I don't know, it could be B, right? Is there any reason three can't be B? I think it could be. Three could be friends with both, right? There's, just because it's not next to five here doesn't mean it's not friends with five. Um, so, okay, so let's find four as friends. Four is friends with three, with one, with, oh, not, that's A. Um, one and three, which could be A or B is the problem. Either of them. Oh no, neither of them are A. Okay, so one and three and A. Um, one and three and A. Either one or three could be B or neither could be B. I feel like I'm barking up the wrong tree or something. Well, this five is in the center here. So I know four of the five friend digits are these. And then one more. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, uh, that's interesting. So I'm gonna color these green. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna color every cell that's next to five. Oh, ah, this is B, because it's next to five and four. This is B. So that's actually pink. Um, and that's gonna place more Bs? No, because B could be three. Mm. Um, right, 
B could be 3. So, and then, uh, where's A? 1 is not A. Okay, so 1 is not next to, okay, there we go. 1 is a, a 4 soul friend, which is going to be purple. So sorry, the reason I can color these green is because they're not A or B. So these are only going to be friends with 5. Let's pick blue, actually. Um, so pink is going to be A and B, which are friends with both 5 and 4. Green are going to be digits that are only friends with 5. This one, again, is not A or B. This one could be A. This one is not A or B, so that's green. Um, and then I'm going to color blue digits that are only friends with 4. And this one I know is only friends with 4 because it's not A or B. So, all, so 2 and 7 are either going to be green or blue, and this is the other going to be green or blue. Same with here, 9. Yeah, okay. I feel like I'm figuring out how to do this. This is going to be A, by the exact same logic that below was B. Oops, A. And that means it's pink. Um, this is neither A nor B, so this is going to be green. There should be three green digits and two blue digits. This could be B still. Um, do I get more? Like, where is A? Oh, so A is five or six. Ah, there we go. A is six. That's nice because A by Sudoku is in the bottom here. A, and it's not here. It's not five because A is not five. So A is six. So A is six, actually. Um, and now, can I do some Sudoku on sixes? Probably. Six, yeah, I mean, six is going to be with four. Um, six. That means four can't be over here anymore. So four and four can't be here. Because four, oh, does four have to go? Nah, maybe that's wrong. Four doesn't necessarily have to go next to six. Four can't go next to five, though. So four is either here. If four is here, that gets the one. Um, it's not going to have A. It could have B, I guess. If this is four, this would be B, which would be three. Hmm. Okay. This is digit is not, this digit is um, B, because it's next to four and five. This digit is next to four and not B. Could it be A? No, A is gone, it's just six. We have six and B. So this is gr uh, blue. So these are the two blue digits, meaning these, that means nine is green and these two are green, because A and B, wait, where's A? No, sorry, I'm, I'm A is six. Sorry, A is six. This is five, these are gonna be the green digits. So nine is green and two others. Um, hmm. So between these four digits, two are green and one is blue. Where's one? One of these is one. One of these is one and blue. Could these both be blue? Maybe. If these are both blue, these are both green, that's blue. Yeah, it's, it's kind of confusing. Um, three is either blue or A, or, P, or B, sorry, blue or pink. Um, why am I, this says both, okay, so this one's green. Yeah, let's try to color every cell. Um, I need a third green. Hold on, this has two greens. So here I have two blues and a green. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Um, these, this is not pink, so it is green. This could be pink. One of these mm, is pink. One of these is pink and one is blue, which means this is green. So I, yeah, one because um, this can't be, if this is pink, oh, these can't both be blue. So three is definitely next to four. This is definitely next to four. One of them is going to be B, and one of them is going to be Oh, the other blue, which is not one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not, three is not blue because these are the two blues. This one's one and this is not blue. So three is pink. 
This is blue and it's one because it's not this blue. So it's one, which is the other blue. This is green. Okay, so three, so three is B is three. Let's do that. Three is B, this is green. Um, what do we say about this? Four could be next to three here. That would be okay. Um, okay, so what I should know, no, no, I know one, I don't know this digit, so I don't know these digits. Okay, that's okay, we'll get there. This is, I don't know, thought I would know. Okay, here, I don't know anything. Um, am I done with fives? No, but I probably should be. Yeah, that's a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, about fours. Here, anywhere, not next to five. Oh, not next to five. Now I have twos next to five. So I have four here. Um, yeah, so this middle middle box is I don't know where my fours are yet. Um, nine is green, which means it's not next to four. Are there any other nines that I'm... I do Sudoku on nines. Nine is in here. Nine can't be here because it'd be next to a four. Um, almost, but not quite, I think. Okay. Um, well, one of these is four. Uh, I don't know if the other one's blue or green, I guess. Because these could both be blue. That could be green. Yeah, I don't know that I can do anything with that. So let's, let's, this is green. Uh, no, this could be three. In fact, one of these is three. Well, okay, let's do Sudoku on threes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, three here, three here. And now, I, how about sixes? Got here, yeah, it's the same, it's the same as box four. Okay. But that means these are all green or pink, so that's green, that's, or green or blue rather. That's blue, I don't know those three. Um, that is not three or six, so that's green. That is not three or six, so that's green, that's blue. Here I've got two greens and a blue. Here I've got, this is blue. That means this is green. One of these is blue. So either two or seven is my other blue. Because they can't both be blue because it's one. So that's blue. And that's one, actually. Um, that makes this one. That makes one. One of these. And one of these. No, I made that up. One of these. Uh, one of these is one. So that's one. Wow, that's neat. Um, and then that gives me one, one of those. Which is which? So these are, this is either two or seven as my other blue. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to figure that out. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's, can I do Sudoku on the greens yet as like a set? I don't know that I can. Okay. I feel like I should be able to do more. Let's just let's try to keep coloring. Um, I need six is pink. What is this? It's next to five, so it's green. That gives me three greens. So this is four and blue. So this is four and this is blue. Not green, blue. This is not four. One is my blue and the other one's green. Yeah, I think I can go either way still. Um, this is the not one blue, of course. Yep, not one blue. This is the not one blue. So the not one blue is up here. But these could both be blue. Um, what am I? These are all of the greens. So this is this, is this. I'm gonna color it, I'm gonna call that C. No, we're, all letters are gone. Let's call that A. And then A, uh, I don't know that I can do more with A. 
A is one of these, but it could be either of those, I think. Um, okay. I feel like we're going to have 1 and 2 as our blues, and 6, 7, 8, 9, and or seven, eight, nine is our pink, is our greens rather, but that is not logical, that is just aesthetic. I probably can do more. Okay, well, this four is gonna, um, this four could be next to six, both sides. Okay, never mind. This is not six, because six can't be next. No, six can't be next to five, sorry, six is pink. Um, what okay what are these these are not three or six so these are green there we go there are my greens then I get three greens here yeah so two is blue nice two is blue now let me put in twos here can I do more Sudoku one of these is two uh, but two's over here uh, I messed up B's and twos at some point but that's not B that's two I really want to say that's four and two six, but I don't think you can say that. Seven is now green. Seven, eight, nine are green. This is eight or nine. Um, these are seven or eight. These are seven or eight. That's nine. Sorry, that's not. Uh, this is eight. Then this is eight seven. Um, the other one is seven or nine with one. Uh, this is seven or nine. I don't know how that goes yet. Sorry, I'm just pencil marking everything. One of these is nine, so that's this is a seven eight pair. Um, this is seven or nine. Two, two, two. This is one and the other green. What is A? A is seven or eight. These are green. I feel like I'm overloaded with colors and things to look at and marks. Um, one, 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 one. Yeah, no, that's a perfect deadly pattern. Not a deadly pattern because it's not with other stuff, but it's a perfect kind of placement of ones to be ambiguous. Um, four. These can't be next to four. Sorry, sorry. These can't be next to four. So that's four. Um, this. This is a one six pair now. Wait, no, two six pair. Thank you. This is either two or six because it's not next, not three. Uh, this can't be four because it's next to a green, which means this is four, which means this is four. Somehow I had that already. Probably Aaron Lee took that out. Um, this is just a two six pair. Is this a two six pair? Four can be next to two, three, or six. Yeah, so this, uh, or one. That's just a one because that's one. This is, this is two six pair as well. Thanks to this one. That makes this, these are seven, eight, nine. These are all green. Uh, this is one or, why is this a different green? I'm going to pick the different green. That's okay. Um, this is one and a green, but I don't know which green. That's weird. I should know this. That's just a green cell. I'm sorry, that's not one. This is, this is a green. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just doing Sudoku. So two, six, how am I going to resolve this? Is there a five next to one of them that I'm missing? Yeah, right here. Okay, so that's two. No, that's six. Six is the one that's next to both. That's not one. That is, okay, so now I have greens. Um, let's try eights. Eight. These two, these two, these two, these two. Um, no, that's not working. Okay, seven is, no, this is eight, nine, then. Uh, how's this gonna work? Let's get rid of blue and pink. How's this gonna work? 
A. I need 9AB, is that an interesting? Okay, 9 is here. Um, I can do 7AB here. I don't know which way I want to do it. Um, nine. I sh hmm. How do I not? This is, sorry, I missed a couple of greens. Okay, I have three in every box, right? Yes, this color I'm going to change. Okay. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Nine. It feels very deadly patterny. Seven, eight. Let's do nine AB. So this is, oh, hold on. This is B. A. Ah, this is seven. I see. This yeah, okay. This is nine. There, sorry, I probably didn't need to. Um, so that's A is eight, B is seven, A is eight, B is seven. Ah, uh, but now I do have a deadly pattern. So what is going on with the sevens and nines? Um, what is going on with the sevens and nines? Ah, nine's not next to a five yet. None of my nines that I place are next to a five. I need a nine next to a five. Um, and this one is gonna be is gonna be this one. So these, these are the same. So whichever way I do this other pattern around, the same digit's gonna be next to five. And I need a seven next to a five. So these are seven. And these are nine. Oh no, it's not the solution. Hold on. Sorry, other way around. Seven's already next to five. I need it. I need a nine. I need a nine. Sorry about that. Yes, perfect. Cool. That was really neat. Uh, really neat. So thanks, Michael, for that puzzle. And thank you for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.